Okay, back for another portable Clint. I got a legend in the house. John Apria. Come here, dude. Hi, Come here, you. How are you? I'm a little short of a legend. Well, you're a legend in my book, friend. That's great, buddy. Uh, how's that coffee? Very good, thank you. Okay, of thank course, you. of thank course. You, thank you. John. Yes, sir. Let's talk about you as an actor. When did you get started as being an actor? I started in New York City studying with a guy named Joshua Shelley. It was a, it was a product of the actor studio, so it's that, that kind of training. He was a, uh, an actor who was blackballed by McCarthy. So really? He was, he was a very funny guy uh, and very pissed off. Uh, but I studied with him for about three years. Did a little bit off Broadway, not off Broadway, you know, workshop. I didn't do a lot in New York, and then came out to uh, to Hollywood. And what year did you come out to Hollywood? 1968. 1968. Yes. I was born in '69. <laughs> no, okay. It's a long time ago. What happens? What's Hollywood like in 1968 when you get here? It's the whole the whole town was different. It was smaller. It was uh, less traffic. Hollywood was. Um, more personal, less less corporate, uh, you know. And you know, you're coming at the, you're coming down uh, out here. And, uh, you just you're not really in Hollywood, but you're in Hollywood. But right. you, know, you have to you have to work your way into it. And uh, it was it was exciting. It was really good. And, and it was um, the studio system was was people were still in the you know, getting contracts and things. So I auditioned for a couple of those, didn't get any. And uh, it was just different. It was different. Okay. What was your first big gig, John? Um, that, that was Bullet. Bullet. Uh, yeah, I, bullet. I, yeah, Bullet. Big, big, I big, mean, big, Bullet. I know. Wow. It, see, this, this, was, this was a really interesting deal. Um, I, I, I got hired to be a, a lookalike of a, of a, a man named Felice Orlandi. He was... He was I don't. Even, I never. I don't even remember what the context was. But I was. I was. I was going to run through the airport and, and, and crush through glass doors and all that. So, but I said, well, I, I can't. I, my two two best friends were already here for about two years or a year and a half. I said, this town's easy. I got. I got here two months ago, <laughs> and then I'm. I'm doing a McQueen picture. <laughs> Unfortunately. They, 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 this was Hollywood for me. They, this, the, the fact that I was supposed to be the, a look like this other guy, it, um, they found another guy up in San Francisco who looked even more like him. So they were paying me off, and I'm going to the agent, and I said, I got up there, I'm getting checks, I want to go to work. He said, kid, he's a little, little small agent. He said, kid, we're getting paid, what are you worried about? What am I worried about? I wanted to do the movie. So I get, I get to do the movie, uh, they call me up, the, almost the end of maybe the last day of the shoot. I mean, McQueen's gone, uh, Jackie Bissett's gone. But I don't think the director was even there. I think they the second unit guy. And myself and Vic Tabak, he was there. Vic Tabak, yeah. yeah. He hadn't become famous yet. We were, we were in an alleyway, no, in a, um, a driveway coming out of, uh, coming out of uh, some car comes flying out of the uh, parking structure and we get we fire we fire at him that's it that was my bullet experience so i went from you know being a co-star in this movie to that and it was my, my first hollywood lesson and i learned it very well did you don't, don't expect anything until it happens yeah no i've learned yeah i'm still trying to learn that lesson yeah well i'm not sure that I did did you, but I tried. you have any steve mcqueen stories yeah, McQueen was, I think the only time I saw McQueen was in, at the, the cast meeting before they started to shoot. And McQueen was a, loved the stunt guys and loved the motorcycles and, and the cars. And when that, he, he said the hello to everybody for a short time. Then he left with, with a couple of his motorcycles, it was the stunt guys to go ride motorcycles. So he's not hanging out with the actors, he went to go hang he out with the stunt guys. Absolutely, man. absolutely. That's the way again, he lived his life. Yeah, I think so. But then again, I didn't, um, I didn't really see too much of Steve on the, on the movie because he was gone already. Yeah. So was everybody else. Um. Okay. So now let's get to you had a good you had an audition for a major motion picture. Yes, I did. 
The Godfather? Yes, that well, that that movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I auditioned, uh, was put on tape at Zoetrope in San Francisco. Where was it? San Francisco. Oh no, I thought you said a different name. The Zoe? What? Zoetrope was was uh, Francis's company with I think uh, a couple of other uh, big directors, but he was that, this. He, that's that was where we went, went to the Zoetrope. Studios, whatever it was, and t I tested for for Michael, uh, which Pacino got, and, and it was, uh, I'm waiting around for some for, for my ride, and uh, and I see Francis in, in the in, in the in the corner, of this behind where I was I was sitting here, and then I could sell, see out of the corner of my eye, Francis was looking at. Uh, Tape of Pacino, who got, who got it, obviously. And I mean, I, and I wait, had, you saw him watching uh, Al Pacino's yes. audition tapes? Yes. Okay. There's a loud 18 wheeler driving by. No, okay, no, go no. ahead. And so it was, uh, I, I, it was terrific to even be considered it, and uh, that, but I didn't really. But I didn't, I didn't get it. You know. Well, you didn't get part one. No, I didn't, but I got, got. Tessio and uh, Young Tessio in part two. Okay, well, hey, hang on a second. First of all, before between Bullet and Godfather audition, Godfather part one, was there anything that I missed there? Oh, yeah, there was a lot of, a lot of, a lot of TV and, uh, and not a lot of TV. But, you uh, did Mannix. Yeah, I did Mannix and I did, um, uh, what else? Did, uh, At the early stages we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it was Mannix and, Von, uh, and other TV shows. I don't really remember. Okay. So you audition for Godfather One. You yeah. don't book it. Do do they remember you for Godfather Two yeah. and bring? Okay, yeah. tell me about that if you don't mind, John. Uh, they um, they brought me in with about a million other actors in, in, in Beverly Hills. Even even Scorsese was there, like to, to audition. At the, really? The bar, but he was. And, this, and, and wait, I'm sorry. In your auditioning for the young. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Oh. They were, yeah, I mean, Francis said um, um, he pointed a picture of uh, of, of Abe Vigoda. Okay. And uh, and uh, and I said something corny about it. Well, you should bring more, like, get get more more glamour in your movies, Francis. Like I know, stupid thing I put it. You know, I'm surprised you got Abe and hired me. I don't know. I never know why I said it, but I think I said it. And I, and Wait, no. What did you say again, John? Too? You need you need more glamour in your movies. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay, and I, 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 I got know, you. You know, because it was a, a picture of uh, of Abe and looking looking kind of awful. You know? Yeah. And, uh, and Abe was great. You know? Yeah. He looked terrific, but he, this picture was. And uh, I, I don't know what I said, but whatever I said. Yeah, he, yeah. He didn't care. He he felt that I was right for for Tessio. Young Tessio, who a, a, as a young guy, and uh, and that was, that was a that was the that was the credit I think that turned everything around. Well, yeah. Now, when you audition for Godfather Two, Godfather One has already been released in a gigantic hit, huge, right? Huge, huge. So, you were you just excited that you were now a part of this big franchise, yeah, absolutely, Godfather Two? Absolutely. It was. It was just uh, you know. It was. It was. It was the Probably the most exciting job I ever got. I bet. I, I knew. I mean, we, we knew what it was. We knew. You knew it was going to be great. It was going to be great, and it had had one that made it was the most successful movie. When the Academy won about twelve Academy Awards or something, I mean, whatever they did. No, I think God, I think Godfather Two won twelve Academy Awards. Godfather Two won more awards than Part One. I think so. Okay, and then, so after The Godfather 2 came out, they did this other thing called The Godfather Saga. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, The Godfather Saga was just out, out, out things that were didn't get into the uh, 1 and 2. But it was all put together, though. That's the yeah. way I saw it. Yeah, it was. It and was that right. was, fantastic. was fantastic. That's the way I saw Godfather for the very first time. 
So I didn't see it part, watching part two first, which was part one, and then part two. I know, it was, it was chrono chronological. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm no kidding. You never yeah, seen, you I never have saw the, one no, or two? No, no, well, no, no, not until I saw the... That's, 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 that's I'm surprised. Yeah, that's well, you're an you actor, know, and you know, well, I was young. I was young when it came yeah, out. Yeah, 73 was when Yeah, 73. Was. So when the saga came out, that's when I saw it, and I was blown away. I'm still blown away. Yeah, and yeah, the saga's great. I like the saga a lot because the, 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 another two scenes that weren't in the original movie uh, uh, were in it. And you always like to get the stuff, all the stuff you can. So one of the scenes that you were in in part two did not make it into part two, but it made it in the saga? Yeah. That's great, John. I yeah. bet you were happy about that. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. I really do. I really was. Okay. Well, let's talk about something more important. Okay, John? You did a show called Miss Columbo. Mrs. Columbo. Mrs. Columbo. Well, Columbo's wife. Okay, I'm a big Columbo fan. Obviously, too, this is too. not more important than Godfather, but I was joking about no, that. I know, I know. But tell me about when you when you heard that you have an audition for Mrs. Columbo, the TV show. Uh, I, it was it was it was episodic television. Right. So I always I always I mean, the actress is good. I mean, got an audition, maybe I'll get a job. But it wasn't. Um, it was fun to do when she was terrific, the woman, and I forgot her name, who played Mrs. Colombo. Uh, so, but it was it was just an episodic job, and it turned out to be, you know, a lot of fun and a, a good job. Okay. All right, John, I'm just realizing something. Tell me, wait, I got to go back to Godfather Part Two, filming it. Yeah. Abe Bogota, you saw Abe before you filmed your part playing a younger version of him. Did I see him see? You didn't you run into any? No, I somehow like I tried to get in touch with him. Maybe I must have ran into him because he wasn't that available. And I, I said, I said, uh, yeah, you know, I'm playing you as a young guy, and, and uh, what do you, what do you, what should we maybe we can talk about about choices, whatever. You know, he said, kid, do the movie, don't bother me. <laughs> okay, all right, I just be bothered. <laughs> okay, okay. So, okay, you do Mrs. Columbo, and then yeah. you do one of my top three favorite movies ever. And I'm not just saying this, guys. This is in my top three movies. I know. It's called The Idol Maker. Uh, yes, you do. I know. And uh, when we first met, you told yeah. me that you did that you loved that movie. Yeah, I. Uh, it's a wonderful movie, and, and Ray is terrific in it. I, uh, Ray I, Sharkey. Ray Sharkey. A lot of people, for some reason, I don't feel like a lot of people saw this movie. I don't, am, am I wrong about that? Was I, it a big deal when it came out? It was a pretty big deal. It was? I think it was nominated, possibly. I'm not sure about that, but it was pretty big. I mean, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a more, it wasn't a smash, but it was, it was a hit movie. I think it did well. Um, and I know, I, Ray, Ray called me, or I ran into him, and he said that he was, he and my, my friend, another actor who was no longer with us, unfortunately, Carmen at Jim Giano, um, we, uh, he, he said to uh, to both of us, not to, together, but we, but we spoke about it, that one of us were going to do his, play his brother, uh, and I guess it was the, the, uh, the director was going to look look at film or maybe, maybe we met them I don't remember and uh, it turns out I look more like Ray as, as a brother than Karma did so I got it and, uh, and it was it was wonderful to do and, and terrific movie and Ray passed way before yes, his time did. yes I remember I was driving over Laurel Canyon and he rear-ended me no kidding yeah but he bumped my car and he just waved, it's okay, it's okay. Sure, yeah. And it's, it's, I realized it was Ray Sharkey, yeah. and because The Idol Maker was yeah. one of my favorite movies, I just waved back. It's okay that you hit me. I love your movie, yeah, you know, and so yeah, and, and, I just I'm let sure, that I'm go. Sure Ray was, was just gonna go, it was gonna, Ray, Ray was Ray. Yeah. No doubt about it. Um, do you remember who directed that movie? Uh, Curtis, Curtis Hanson. Curtis Hanson, he, he's gone yeah. on to do some nice yeah, things. Yeah, 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 that was his first movie. He was um, a documentary filmmaker with his wife, as I remember, and I think this was his first feature-length uh, live-action, you know, uh, theatrical release. 
Are you having, okay, so up until this point, are, is work just coming in pretty good for you? Are you struggling between gigs? What's happening right now? I was right working now? a lot. I mean, after the Godfather, I got, I, uh, I, and interestingly enough, there, there were two, three, right? When that, when the picture opened, there were a couple of meetings with big directors that they called me in to see, you know, and, and uh, mentioned a couple of projects which then, one more the stars, and so I was I really wanted to do mo movies, and uh, it, that was always your goal was movies. Yeah, yeah. okay. And uh, I got a, uh, a pilot, and I went to series for the Montefuscos. It was uh, a comedy about an Italian family. I right. Played. This was. It's like a mob family, or no, it's an no. Italian. I, I, I saw am, the name. I saw the name on IMDb. Yeah. No, it's, it was it just uh, like wise Italian guys family. or something? No, not at all. It was an Italian family, and it was like it was the original. Uh, the original title was Sunday Sunday dinner, and we would meet and, and at uh, the, 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 the Patriarch's house in Connecticut. I, I would uh, I would come up on a motor scooter with a with a uh, I mean, it was a side thing, and with my uh, with my brother. My younger brother, I think, and I, I would, I would have the priest outfit and a, a helmet with, with the, you know, the the collar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, with, the, with the with the white stripe. Right, right. So, and that was, the, you know, that was, uh, and I was, you know, the, and it was, uh, it was a short-lived series. Um, but fun. that was your first series, though, right? Yeah. yeah. And were you loving being on a series? Did you feel? No, I was. I was. No, I wasn't. You know, I was. Uh, Completely crazy. I wasn't wasn't that happy, but I did I did like them. I, I liked doing it, but I I think that I was somewhat apprehensive about the uh, not apprehensive, but I wanted to do movies, and I, I didn't care if the show was that successful. But uh, in, in retrospect, that was that was crazy because uh, I, if we were. Should have been a hit, you know. You always want a hit, right? But um, it wasn't. It was. It went off in four or five shows. What was the biggest series that you've been a part of? Um, well, probably Full House. Full House. Okay. Well, let's kind of fast forward to Full House. So, Full House, you play uh, the dad of. Um, no, they play the the yeah, grandfather. John, John, yeah, John Stamos's Stamos, dad. Right, right. So the grandfather to the girls. Yes, which was great because soon as you, as soon as Chris, our Chris is our mutual friend, yes. Chris Cardone, awesome dude. Soon as he introduced you to me, that's when my girls were watching Full House oh, every no. single day. Yeah, that was huge. And I literally met you at Chris's place, and then I went home, and my girls were watching Full House, uh -huh. and I look up, and there you were, the guy who I just met. Oh, that's funny. That's yeah. Funny. So, and then after that, I like saw you lots of times on Full House, and it was just all. And then I and then I took the girls out one day to meet you, and they just went crazy. Like, oh, wow, yeah. oh, that's great. That's yeah, great. yeah, that was that was I, interestingly enough. I, I didn't have a series deal. It was just that, um, as, as the, the folks in the business know that it's uh, a series deal that you, you, you're signed for the for this run of the series, or at least season at a time. I was just. Um, a reoccurring character, but they, they kept the character for a long time. But and, and what I, I could have stated doing it, but I was, uh, I was doing. Uh, I forgot what show I was doing. That uh, that I had that it, for some reason I was nominated for best villain. Uh, not maybe it's not not slamming. I don't. Remember. That's right. You did do a lot of not slamming. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so when I and that night, I mean at this. At this Function for the for the daytime uh, Emmys. Uh, I, I didn't want to go. I was thinking, well, I don't know, what, what do you do with that? And I did, and I met uh, Linda Dano there, who played my sister in the Montefuscos, and she was a uh, soap star. And she said, "Do you want to? Are you interested in doing soap?" And I said, "Not really. I mean, I don't know. Maybe." And she's and it would be her love interest. And um, so I tested it for it, and um, we went back to uh, back to uh, Full House and said, "You want to make a deal? You know, 
guarantee. And they said, well, we'll use John, but we're not going to make the show. I took the photograph the, for the, uh, the soap opera. Okay, but did you do any more full houses after that conversation? No, I, then I went, went to, uh, to New York. Okay, but you came back again with the new, with the Fuller House. Yes, you came did, back and recurred as... I, I, I did one episode. Well, but you still, you made a, yeah, but yeah, that's I, nice I, that they invited you back. Yeah, they did. I was very, very nice about them. And they said, uh, you know, maybe we're going to reintroduce introduce the character, but um, I just did the one. Well, you know they're filming the new season now, so who yeah. knows? You we'll see, we'll know. see. Yeah. John, over over the amount of Hollywood time that you've been out in Hollywood, what was your, will you name me a couple of your old famous restaurants that aren't around anymore that you used to like to go to? Well, the one, one of them that is still around, which is, which is, is uh, uh, the one on Hollywood Boulevard. I can't Musso and Franks. Musso and Franks. Uh, other ones. Uh, Did you go so, there a lot to, to yeah, Musso and Franks? Yeah, I still do. I still go but the one, the one that was the most uh, <clears throat> most frequented by a lot of us was Joe Allen's in, uh, on, on, uh, in here. Was, Joe Allen's is, uh, started in New York. It's a theater bar, and, and, it, and then it, he opened up out here. And, uh, that, was, that was the one that went to all the time. And Schwab's, of course. Schwab's? And that Schwab's was, where was the location that you went to? Because there's a new kind of Schwab's uh, yeah, corner, yeah, but no, I don't think no, that's no. it. Yeah, but that's the, no, the, the This is the one on Schwab's Sunset? On Sunset. And everybody was in that place. You know, movie stars just... Read the, read and you went that. inside there? Yeah, I was there a lot. Really? And that was uh, Sunset in Laurel Canyon? Right. right. Okay. Like... When, because I wish I could go back in time to go to those places. What were going on in those restaurants? I mean, were they like just? They, they were just. They were, they were meeting places, uh, and you'd see, see the same guys. You'd, you'd, you'd go to Schwab's. You'd know. You know. You'd, you'd walk in there and you'd sit at one of the tables with uh, four or five guys you've known for the last. You know. I don't know. You, you knew them and, and from from Schwab's. And at night, you'd be at Joe Allen's. Um, Where was Joe Allen's? It was, was called Joe, Joan Allen? Jo, Joe. Joe Allen's. Joe Allen's. Yeah, there's a guy, Joe Allen's still alive. He has, has a, a place in, in New York, which is, is hugely successful. It's been there for 50 years. And um, and the, the one in L.A. was very popular. And he, he made it into an Italian restaurant, an Italian restaurant called Orso, and that's gone. Okay. But the, uh, the 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 ones in the, in my youth, and that's a long time ago, um, were those two. And there was there was Scandia and and uh, what about Sirius? Chasen's. Chasen's I went to right before it's done. Yeah. Right before it closed down, I ate there, so yeah. I was really glad about yeah. that. I didn't go there very often, but I went there a couple of times. And then there was Ciro's, like you said. There was there was on, on, on Sunset Strip. Uh, there was about four or five. What about Dean Martin's place? Yeah, I was there. I, um, that, would, that would close in the, in the, in the early 70s, I think. Did you ever meet Dean Martin or I, Frank Sinatra? I, I know, but I went... Uh, uh, I, Dina Martin was, was my girlfriend. Dina I, Martin, yeah, his daughter? Yeah, and I, I never met Dean. I don't think Dean wanted to know no, any, any of uh, her boyfriends. How long did you date Dina Martin? Almost a year. Any other any other celebrities that you dated? Not really. Not, not, no. Okay. Keep All right. that keep that quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So back to your career. I loved that, like, in the 80s, you did all the 80s movies, like uh, uh, The Fall Guy. Oh, the, all those TV shows. Right? Yes. Yeah, all those. Yeah, all those. The stuff. Fall Guy, the yeah. A-Team. Yeah, all that. The, I mean, yeah. that's some good TV right yeah, there. Yeah, they were. They were, they were, you know, they were, they were uh, you playing that, you know, that bad guy and all those guys. Because the, the good guys are the elites, uh, the regulars. So, um, um there were, yeah, the, 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 there was there was a lot of those 
episodic television shows, and I can't, I can't even, I don't even remember them. Well, because, John, you know why? Because you have 97 credits. That's the reason why, because you have a lot of credits. Now, John, do you remember what your favorite gig was to film? And I almost don't want to, I don't want you, I kind of want to leave Godfather 2 out, because... Yeah. That would be like the obvious choice. I, I, I would say that all day long. Yeah, well, that, that was the most important one, but it wasn't the most fun necessarily. Okay, well, tell me your funnest I mean, one. Uh, the, one of the, some of the, the uh, images I have of Godfather 2 was when the first time we did speak, because we spoke Sicilian, and, and, and uh, it was in this little, uh, little, uh, in this massive, uh, massive sound stage, in this small, Little set that that was from the, that era. Where did and they film this, John? Paramount uh, and New York. Okay. And uh, so, I, I remember all of, a lot of the guys from Godfather One, uh, Pacino and De Niro. Not De Niro; he's in the scene with me. Uh, but Pacino and Jimmy Kahn and a couple of other guys. They, they came to watch some of the this. I guess the, the first time. Uh, uh, De Niro, myself, and, and Bruno Kirby were going to do those this Sicilian stuff. And I, I remember Bobby De Niro and, and Al Pacino walking uh, back out of, out, out of this massive sound stage, which was empty except for the set. Right. And uh, it was an image of those two guys, and one of them was going to be won the Academy Award for... Film, yeah, this film yeah. from De Niro. So, um, but I don't, uh, that wasn't the question you said. Uh, well, no, but that's still a good story. You know what I'm jealous about you, John, is that you get to call James Conn Jimmy Conn. Uh, you get to call Robert De Niro Bobby De Niro. Well, Bobby I know, but J Jimmy I don't really know. I've met him a couple of times. I know, but I want those friends that I can have those little those nicknames with uh, with famous people anybody else that you can have a nickname for like Jimmy and Bobby is there anybody else that we know um, I don't think so I okay think all right so. just making sure because I want to start doing <laughs> that okay so your funnest gig you said you yeah, said it was, there was... Uh, it was probably it was an independent movie uh, that uh, I did right right before when we mentioned earlier Chris Cardone's movie. That was a lot of fun, too. Uh, That's it, a great movie. Stevie D. Stevie D. That you can movie. rent, yes. and I highly recommend it. And, yeah. and John uh, is fantastic and in it. Chris is... Chris is dynamite. He's the, he's the lead, and he's terrific. Uh, another independent, it was, I had the lead in this one, was called uh, Shark Skin. And it was, it was all the guys I knew... Uh, and, you know, like who? Like who? Well, who Bobby, are we talking? Bobby Costanza. Bobby Costanza. Uh, 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 Carmen Echenziano. Uh, 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 um, we don't need to go through the names. I just like for you to say those names because you say it's so classy. Yeah, oh, thanks. But I wanted uh, that Don Kalfa, uh, who's a wonderful actor. You've seen him many times. He, unfortunately, uh, has, has left... Uh, has left the uh, stage. That's, that's, he's off, he's uh, off stage again. Uh, so and so is Carmen. Sad. Okay. Uh, but uh, they 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 were fun. They were a lot of fun because they were just it was just comfortable. And you, you know, it was, it was your movie, and you know, it was just great. And Stevie Day was also uh, a lot of fun, which you were in. Well, yes, I mean he's you know we have a great neighbor who puts that's, us in stuff. Right. Um, let me ask you something. Overlooking Hollywood, looking back, was it a fun ride? No, oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade, it, trade it for for anything. Any regrets? Not really. No, you know, I mean, we made some mistakes along the way, and, and uh, uh, but you know, overall, it's great. Well, John, I still think there's some. I still think you're going to be getting some call sheets. Uh, yeah, I think you're gonna. I think some stuff's gonna happen for you, John, yeah, because so. you are literally a legend in my book, and I'm and I'm not just saying that. Well, that's that's really sweet. Thank you, John. I am so glad that you did this. Is there anything else that I'm? Is there another Hollywood story before we leave? Anything else that you kind of want to talk about? Mm -hmm. Is there anything? What's your? Was there a story that you auditioned for something big and you just didn't get it? Some. Well, The Godfather one was certainly the one that. 
biggest one. After you get. realized you didn't get Godfather, were you depressed about that? Did that stick with you, or were you just so busy, you just kept on going on? Uh, that was no. I, I didn't really think I was going to get it. So okay. Uh, and and uh, other than uh, you know, there were a lot of auditions that you wanted to, that it came close to that. You know, and I don't really remember specifically one that's oh, I just I remember the, the, uh, the, I forgot the name of the movie, but uh, I came close to uh, and the, 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 after the Godfather two, there were a couple of very close movie calls for big big parts and big movies. Yeah, and they, they, they didn't happen. But John, and then that's the cool thing about about you is that you will always be associated, like uh, from Godfather yeah. too. I mean, you'll always that's always a title yeah, with you. Yeah, it's important. It, yeah, it's important. There's no, there's there's no doubt about it. Well, John, I think we just gave the perfect interview. And I think uh, you did a perfect job, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank, thank you, and I hope that's good enough. John, it is good enough. John, do me a favor. Yeah. Will you tell everybody bye out there? Just say bye. Bye-bye, guys.